guys, my name's Allie and welcome to the Wednesday Take and Make Crafts for Kids at the Rapid City Public Library. This week we're going to be making origami cranes, but before we get started I wanted to tell you a little bit about origami cranes. Origami cranes have been made in Japan since the 17th century. That means that they're over 400 years old. And there's a great story in Japan about folding 1,000 cranes and making your wish come true. So if you fold 1,000 of these cranes, make a wish, your wish can possibly come true as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we fold these cranes so you can get started on those 1,000 cranes. Now today I've included two pieces of origami paper in your kits, so that'll get a start, but you can always purchase some more origami paper or make your own by cutting down some computer paper. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what's in our kits today. In your kit, you should have two pieces of origami paper and your picture instructions. Let's go ahead and get started with what first piece. First, you're going to fold your paper diagonally, so from one corner to the opposite corner. And when you're folding, you want to try and get it as perfect as possible because we are going to be making a lot of folds. Good job. Next, we're going to fold the left corner to over to the right corner. All right, now this next part's a little tricky. We're going to take just the top layer of one of our folds and you're gonna slip your finger in between it and we're going to do what's called a squash fold. So you want to bring this corner over to this one by squashing it down. Nice job. So now we have kind of a diamond shape with another arrow sticking out of it. We're gonna flip around and do the same thing on this side. So slip your finger in between there and we're going to bring this corner to this corner. All right, good work. So now we have our open end facing the bottom. Next, step number seven on our piece of paper, we're going to fold in the corners so that this edge, the right edge, matches the middle. So just like this, both layers. And we're just gonna fold it in just like that. And you'll unfold. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So fold in and unfold. Now we're gonna take the top part of our triangle, of our square, and drawing an imaginary line from the top of this crease to the top of this crease, we want to make a triangle. And try to get the point of the tip of that corner right there in the middle. That way you'll be even. And then unfold again. Next, we're going to take just the top layer, and you can hold the bottom two layers down with your finger, and we're going to flip it open, just like so. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. You can always squish it down a little bit better as you go, just like I've done. There we go. Now we're going to flip and do the same thing on this side. So let's fold down this top part again to make a nice crease. We'll fold these guys in again to this center line to make a nice crease. And unfold. And then the same thing, holding the middle part down, we're just going to open up and squash fold down. There we go. We are more than halfway done, guys. Great job. So now we have the top part that's solid and the bottom part that has two little legs like that.
Next, we're going to, on the left-hand side, there are two layers you'll notice. We're gonna take just one layer and do the same type of fold that we did before, bringing the edge to the middle, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So taking just the top layer, bring that in, and squish it down. Now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. We're so close to being done. So now we have kind of the same shape that we had before, but it's a little bit skinnier and it has those two legs still. Now this part's a little bit tricky. We're going to fold up to make a crease and then you want to open the side a little bit and push this guy back into there just about Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So make that crease, undo it, open the side a little bit, and push that into there. Great, we are almost done. We just need to make the head now. So to make the head, you just want to bend down one side and put a little dent in it. There we go. And now you can fold the wings down and gently pull to open up your crane's body. And you have made your very own origami crane. Nice job, guys. See how many of them you can make. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today as we made our origami cranes. It was a little bit complicated, but I'm sure with practice, you'll be able to get it really perfectly. They are so much fun to make, and I'll tell you what, I made about four or five of them, and I almost have the pattern memorized at this point. So if you keep practicing, I guarantee you will as well, and it will get easier and easier. But it's always fun to learn a new skill, even if it's a little difficult at first, because practice makes things easier. Cool, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next Wednesday as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest crafts at the Rapid City Public Library. And we hope to see you next week. Have a good day. Bye.